Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update October 11th, 2019 edition. Make sure to watch till the end where for your convenience I do a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates. In this edition, what is a booting ceremony? And Del Raba opens up. But first, Love in Shanghai is an upcoming modern drama starring Victoria Song, Zhang Jianning, Li Chun, and Selena Jade. The drama tells the story of four career-minded women and the problems they face in their career and love lives. Their male counterparts are played by Zheng Kai, Tony Yang, Wang Yaoqing, and Huang Zheng. The drama is slated for 36 episodes and held its booting ceremony in August, so it will be a while before it gets released. Speaking of booting ceremonies, I've been asked on many occasions, what exactly are those? Great question. I speak of booting ceremonies so often that I never stop to think maybe some people aren't familiar with what they are. Well, simply put, they are like small opening ceremonies held on the first day of filming. The cast and crew are all in attendance and they burn incense and offer a prayer for a smooth shoot. They will also unveil the cameras which are initially covered with red cloth. There are red banners, red cloth, red carpets, pretty much red everywhere. It's a symbol of luck and happiness. It also serves as a great marketing opportunity for the production, as usually the stars will be there for the media to take photos. I've been to a couple of small ones for Chinese productions here in Vancouver, but never a full-fledged booting ceremony in China. I would love to go to one though, they can be quite the party atmosphere. On the topic of booting ceremonies, I introduced Cecilia Liu's comeback drama, My Dear Self, in a previous video and spoke about how low-key it was. Well, now it has an official Weibo page and released these booting ceremony stills. The drama's English title is now To Dear Myself. It's a female-centric story about three women, played by Cecilia Liu, Eddie Khan, and Chen Michi, and their troubled romances and careers. Their male counterparts are played by Zhu Yilong, Peng Guanying, and Li Zifeng. Ding Hei, who helmed Nothing Gold Can Stay, directs. And still sticking to the topic of booting ceremonies, here's a drama that recently started shooting. Don't Lie to Your Lover is an upcoming modern drama starring Liang Jie and Xin Yun Lai. It is based on a comic of the same name and they held their booting ceremony yesterday, October 10th. The drama tells the story of a girl who loses her job and relationship in one unfortunate night. She then lands a new job at an architecture company but is tasked with having to constantly lie for her boss. I haven't seen the trailer or the comic but this has got comedy written all over it. It is produced by one of Hong Kong's finest directors, Gordon Chan. Liang Jie is probably best known for her The Eternal Love series with Xing Zhao Ling. This is Xing Yun Lai's first lead role in a drama. He recently had a supporting role in Waiting For You In The Future. And now a rundown of some dramas that have premiere dates. All I Want For Love Is You is a youth drama starring Lu Zhaohua and Liu Yuhan and it premiered earlier today. It tells the story of a martial arts and action loving girl who studies hard to get into the same school as her crush, a book smarts guy who wants to major in medicine. In university, they get into hilarious situations and fall in love over time. I watched the trailer and it totally reminded me of a love so beautiful with Shen Yue and Hu Yitian. If you enjoyed that drama, then this one might be your cup of tea. It is available on YouTube. The Gravity of a Rainbow is an upcoming modern drama starring Godfrey Gao and Xuan Lu and it is slated for an October 16th premiere. The drama tells the story of a girl who on her search for a soulmate falls in love with a young professor. However, her mother is against it and wants her to marry the son of a wealthy family friend instead. Not the most original story, but we'll see what they can bring to it. It will be available on Tencent and probably on YouTube too. Del Raba opens up and gets emotional on a Chinese travel show. Feel the World is a Chinese travel show where guest stars go to different destinations and live life like a local. Del Raba started an episode in season 2 where she traveled to Greece and stayed with an elderly couple. In one of the scenes, she watched as the elderly woman prepares lunch, and she got emotional. When she spoke to the camera, she said, Seeing the grandpa and grandma's happy lifestyle and tasting this familiar taste made me feel like I was at home. Whenever I see elderly people, I will think about my grandmother. She continued, My grandmother was a very quiet person. 
When she became ill, the whole neighborhood, a few hundred people, went to see her. Except me. It's been reported that Del Raba's grandmother fell ill in 2014 during the time she filmed Diamond Lover. She wasn't able to take the time off to pay respects to her grandmother for one last time. Whether she was denied permission or whether she decided on her own not to hold up production is unclear, but she soldiered on with filming. If you search Feel the World Del Raba, you can find links to the episode on YouTube. It would take incredible circumstances to stop me from saying goodbye to someone I love, especially a family member. That said, I'm not in Del Raba's shoes, so I'm not going to speak like I know what she was going through. It was obviously an agonizing decision. On film sets, situations like this can be hard to deal with, especially if you're a lead actor, because they can't simply replace you. They have to completely shut down the days of work, as opposed to, say, an office job where they can keep operating. If you ever find yourself in a dilemma like this, here's one way of looking at it. Think about what the person who you're saying goodbye to will honestly want you to do. Some will absolutely want you to be there with them, but some will be stoic, and they will insist that you stay at work or that you sit for that exam. Whatever happens after, at least you will have the peace of mind of knowing that you made that decision with that person in mind. And now a quick recap of the dramas with premiere dates. All I Want For Love Is You premiered on October 10th and The Gravity of the Rainbow will premiere on October 16th. So that's it for today, guys. But while I have your attention, I'd like to ask you to visit my crowdfunding page Patreon, where for a dollar or more a month, I will give one of you guys a shout out and answer your question at the end of one of my YouTube episodes. The link is in the description box below. This show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, liking, and subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.